Hello everybody, I am Out of Controller, and welcome back to Let's Play Penumbra. Um, when last we left off, we were standing behind a different box, but it started me back there, so... We are going to go ahead and... Press on, hopefully. I haven't played this in a while, and I already for like... I completely forgot how terrifying this ambiance is. Hang on, my mouse cord is screwing me up here. Yeah, I forgot how absolutely terrifying this is. But, you know what? I thought about it, and I realized that this guy said that Hollywood, or heroics were for Hollywood actors and whatnot, but I have a hammer. So, I'm still gonna try to avoid the uh, thing, the dog. But if it does come at me, I'm going to hammer it to death. I hear it. I think it just makes a big loop. Oh, I hope it doesn't come behind me. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. Is it gone? I'm so not used to... Hang on, I'm trying to get used to having my mouse over there. It's... I'm afraid it's gonna mess me up. I know you guys can't see it. Wait, it's not over there. Go forward. Okay. We're moving on! Go blue, okay. I'm assuming he makes a big circle, so I'm gonna like... I'm gonna pace it here. If he does come at me, I'm just I'm gonna go nuts with this hammer. Go away. Uh, have I gone too far up? Is he gonna catch me? <gasps> oh my gosh! Don't don't stare at it. Don't stare at it. He said don't stare at it. Oh that was way too freaking close. Don't don't see me. Don't see me. He's gonna see me. He's gonna see me. I'm dead. I'm gonna- It's hammer time! He didn't see me? What, are you half blind? Are you entirely blind? Oh, my heart is racing. I want to look at him. Because I want to know if he's coming at me, but if I look at him... My guy, like, gets caught. Go away, would you? Alright, I think... I think I can move forward. I can sneak around him. Oh my gosh. Is that him? I think so. Don't find me. I'm gonna freak out when he does find me. Like, when the music goes crazy. So he's gonna go that way. I can go this way. Go, 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 go. Alright, so he's just gonna patrol around there. Is he the only one around here? I sure hope so. Okay. So, um, kind of forget what we were doing. It's been so long since I played this. I guess I'm just gonna go around and see what else there is. So I can basically be standing in plain sight and as long as I don't look at him, I'm fine. <gasps> there he is, there he is. Go, 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 go this way. Oh, don't see me, don't see me. I did, he makes it, does he make a loop or is that another guy? Ugh, great. I absolutely hate this. The whole like sneaking around, I mean I, I use sneak a lot as like my typical style of gameplay, but I hate having to play like cat and mouse, I guess. Sort of hide and seek style. I don't know what you call this. It's terrifying is what it is. Where the heck am I going? Where do I need to go? I'm so lost. 
got the worst sense of direction. Is he over there? He's got a check around every corner. Is he behind me? Okay, good. Alright, I don't see him anywhere. Let's press on. That's not what I wanted to do at all. I wanted to go around the box. I'm so scared right now, actually. I'm terrified. Alright. No time for that. Is there something back here? Nothing at all. Okay. Which way do I? I should have checked that map before I started moving forward. Something's over here. Oh, I can't interact with the hammer up. Forgot. I hear something. Get the hammer up. What do I hear? This is the worst hiding spot that I have picked. I'm banking on the fact that he's over there, but if he's over here, I'm completely just screwed. I think he's over there. Stupid ambiance, shut up! I hate it! I don't even know if this door is gonna be open. It's probably locked. Are you gone? Is he behind the door? He's probably behind the door. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. Crap. He knows. I waited all day to play this game, and now that I'm playing this game, there's nothing I want more than to not be playing this game. Office. I should go that way. I hear him everywhere, but I I haven't seen him in I haven't seen him in a while, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's like every time I move, I hear him growl. Where are you at, bro? This is exactly where I was, not five minutes ago. He's behind the store, isn't he? Again, like you guys would know. I don't see anything. Let us Let's put the hammer away. I've jotted down a note just in case. Well, what'd you write? What is that? Oh, I thought it was J and notes. Uh, nope, that's not it. Go back. To do list. Uh, there's a locked door with odd noises coming. Oh, in front of that. I found a locked door in the middle of the mine. Well, I'm really glad you told me that. You couldn't just say it's locked, just right in front of my face. Okay, so that's the office. I'm right there. So if I go that way, I'll find the office. Makes sense. That's the workshop. I'm assuming that sign says office. Yep. Oh, hey, here we go. Please be unlocked. Please be unlocked. Thank God, we're getting somewhere. We're pressing on! Oh, okay. This has the nice calming ambience. You can- stand up! Stand up, bro! Stand- what? Where's the- I can't see my, con my keyboard. I am I standing? I'm not standing. Oh, now I'm standing, okay. Uh, typewriter? That's such a relief from, like, the creepy ambiance of the hallway. I'm so happy about that. Open the door. Nothing? Uh, what's that? Beef jerky. And nothing. Okay. An age-old filing cabinet. What's this? Beef jerky? Nothing. And nothing. Okay. 
What's in cabinet number two? Uh, ooh, painkillers. Sweet. Nothing? And let me guess, nothing? Nope. Okay, so I got beef jerky and some painkillers so far. Pick up the flare. I don't know what those are good for. Open this. It's locked. I need a key. I'm surprised you didn't just jot out, jot down a note that said, I need a key to open this. Oh. Oh, that's a fine the cabinet. That looks like nothing and nothing and nothing. a whole lot of nothing. Alright. What is this? Backstring. Okay. Alright. 15th of August, 1949. Command Bunker. Emergency Airship Zulu. Weekly report. Another unremarkable week in Greenland. Regular supply shipment received. Standard emergency drills carried out. Routine runway maintenance completed. I have ordered maintenance to be carried out twice weekly from here on in due to increased snowfall and one wounded. <clears throat> Sorry. The one wounded figure is no cause for concern back in London. The Germans haven't extended their front line by 4,000 miles. Two of my men were caught manufacturing cherry bombs in our workshop slash armory and it succeeded in blowing off a couple of fingers. I take partial responsibility for this in that I allowed them to... I allowed them access to the demolitions manual we keep in the storeroom, and I'm sure that's where they learnt the ingredients. As a precautionary measure, I have now locked up that manual in the chest in my office, and will keep the key on my person at all times. Needless to say, both men have been disciplined, and the injured man has been sent home for medical care. I cannot help but think- can you imagine being, like, I'm assuming this is like, um, an army outpost, I guess? Can you imagine being in the army and you were sent home because you accidentally, like, blew off your own fingers? That would be embarrassing. I cannot help but think that a more suitable punishment would have been for him to stay out here, but the matter is out of my hands. The base is so disconnected sometimes, I feel as if this war could end, and we might not even hear about it out here. Supplies requisition order. Dynamite for excavation purposes. Seven bayonets. Not necessary in my opinion, but procedure states we should have a full complement. Um, completement? One industrial ice pick for removing the dang ice that forms on the external hatch. One pair of reading glasses, category 7C, an order for myself. My glasses are in a rather poor state of repair and could do with replacing. Reconditioning of the mine continues to progress. The structure is being fortified from potential bomb damage and excavation of previously caved in areas is going ahead. One point of curiosity is some kind of archaeological find, an artifact buried in the earth and discovered by one of my work and discovered by one of the work teams. Later this evening, after martial duty, I'll sh I shall take a closer look at the artifact. It appears to be man-made and may have working parts inside. I shall remove what looks like the front cover and see if I can't discover the source of light which constantly emanates from it. Chief NCO and Major. All right, so. It looks like this used to be like an army outpost of some kind. Um, look at that. So much history in this place, tied up in words and left decomposed. Open the doors. Get out of my way, chair. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, hey, another note. I don't like that music. Copenhagen Post, Monday 17th, August 1930. Psychotropic deposits at the bottom of death mine? Researchers at the University of Copenhagen have suggested that mind-altering chemicals naturally sewn into the rock may be the cause of high suicide rates at Greenland Mine. The university, which has recently been conducting studies into isolated communities, first became interested in the workers of the Northwestern um, lead mine last year. They discovered that even taking into account Greenland's naturally higher suicide rate, local figures for the last 100 years were abnormally high, at 46 deaths, at 46 deaths per 100,000 populace, compared to the national average of 29. On further investigation, experts diagnosed, in many of the miners, symptoms in common with the earlier stages of paranoid schizophrenia. This has prompted researchers to, hy to hypothesize that natural deposits of lysergic acid, a pH 4 formula recently discovered to have hallucinogenic properties, may be present in the rocks. Few locals were conducive to interview, but those who agreed to speak had their own explanation. 
Inuit spirits known as the Tomb Gate lived in the mountains. Live in the mountains. The university is awaiting the results of a chemical testing. Studies continue. All right, and this is the key to. It doesn't say. I'm gonna assume this is the key to whatever to the door in storage. So I need to go back to storage, or maybe it's the key to the thing in the middle of the mine shaft. It's the key to something. Empty. Uh, batteries. Yes. I'm never gonna use those. I just wander around in the dark. And then this weird thing that I'm just gonna touch for no reason. A man, an old man, clutching something unseen. He is strange, and yet he is no stranger. Never seen before, still I know, this man before me is Howard. I call him father. It was different, but the same. That time. Like I had more control, but over what? I read that really weird. Okay. Have I discovered... Oh, is that the key to this? Hang on. Oh, that's the wrong button. I meant to hit tab. Let's drag this to two. Use it. There we go. Oh, look, more reading. Big Book of Explosives, 1923 edition. Oh, this is the thing he was talking about, that the guy used to blow off his fingers. Uh, chapter 13, Mat Black Match Fuse. The black match fuse is one of the oldest, simplest, and most and mo most most reliable fuses used in modern pyrotechnics. It is easy to create, essentially consisting of just string and gunpowder. But be warned, the chemicals concerned will stain clothing, and as always, do concern is advised. When you're making explosives, be advised it might stain your clothing. That's what we should be worried about here. Uh, materials required: string, preferably cotton, black gunpowder, and backstring. I just so happen to have picked up a jar of backstring. The string should be coated with a thin layer of backstring, which acts as an adhesive. The string is then carefully rolled in the gunpowder and left to dry at least a couple of minutes before use. Alright, dynamite. Trinitrotulian? Oh, TNT. Okay. Uh, Armstrong's mixture. Red phosphorus and barium. Earth, nitroglycerin, sodium carbonate. Text unreadable, and then simply form into short sticks and wrapping paper. Okay. So I'm assuming I'm going to need um, an explosive of some kind. Hang on a second. Black match fuse, dynamite, TNT, Armstrong's mixture. Um, either one of those is another name for cherry bombs, or cherry bombs don't even exist in that book. Okay. Light. I miss being outside already. This place is starting to get to me. But even if I could reach that grate, it looks built into the rock itself. No way it's coming loose. I agree, man. I want to be done with this as much as you do. Okay, so... What do I need dynamite for? I... Oh, I see a box here. That's not a box. That's a wooden beam. I don't... I still don't know what di... I don't know what I'm doing with dynamite, though. Still gonna have to wander around until I find something. I mean, I made progress, but I feel like I haven't really made any progress. Ugh. This has already gone on for way too long. It's really hard to commentate and play this game at the same time because I'm using earphones instead of headphones. So, like, if I speak, it makes it harder to hear in game. Hopefully, by the next episode, I'm gonna have, like, actual headphones which will make things significantly easier, but until then, I'm just gonna have to deal. Okay, workshop. If I go past the workshop, there should be something else. Just keep going. Ignore the noises. The noises don't mean anything. Okay, so... I want to go... Where do I want to go? There's... I've, I've explored the office. Everything else is behind that door. Maybe I missed something in storage. I mean, I'm gonna have to go, like, creep past the dog again. I don't know if he's behind me or down that way. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. I know, I know I've got to make an explosive, and that's about it at this point. Uh, 
Alright. I'm just gonna go for it. Where did he go? He was patrolling here when I left. I'm gonna run into him and I'm gonna scream. That's exactly what's gonna go down here. Nothing? Nobody? Alrighty then. Alright, put the hammer away. Let's go back in here, I guess. Yeah. Is this storage, or am I in a different place? No, this is storage. Okay. Get out your glow stick. So I missed something in here. Still can't open that. Can you tell me what's going on here? Or like, can you send for help? Really want this to open. Lots of paper boxes with rusty nails. What is this? It's a can of something. What is that beef jerky for? Beef jerky, not without aroma. So now I can attract all the dogs to me. Beautiful. Nothing is it. Can I rotate things? Hang on. Nope. Okay. Figure out how to open this, bro. Wait. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I was standing on it! Oh, I'm so dumb. I was standing on it the last episode. That's why I couldn't get in. Oh, I... I can't even. I'm so dumb. I'm... That's awfully reassuring. Maybe I should crouch. Softly short down here. That always creeps me out when, like, I see the hand and it's all red. What is down here? That's a spider web. Usually means there are spiders nearby. <gasps> Was that a spider? I don't like spiders. I don't like spiders either. Get your hammer out. Was that? Oh, there's a save point. Okay. Okay, so the spider went right. We're gonna go left. Steam. I'm assuming it's gonna hurt me. Hurts my wallet, am I right? What's that? A horrible sight. Luckily it's mummified or, the, or else the smell would have been awful. Whoa. It's a dead wolf dog. I just went in a giant circle. What's that? Alright, spiders in small places. I don't know if I can go through with this. I think I can hear the pitter-patter of tiny feet. Don't say things like that, man. You're just gonna freak yourself out. Is this where I was? It is. Oh, this looks like it could be handy. Uh, put the hammer away and grab that. <clears throat> I'm assuming this is how we get back up because I noticed that there was no like ladder there. Okay. Perfect. Alright, now we can get back up. You know, more so than these spiders, I'm afraid that my recording is gonna cut out and I won't notice. Dead end. Dead end. Get the hammer back out. Okay, so I went that way. I'm gonna go this way this time. That seemed to blister flesh from a bone in an instant. I know, I've seen it happen. Run! Up. There goes my flesh. Oh look, another note. If it weren't for the size of the pieces, I would say that looks like eggshells. I'm gonna say it looks like eggshells anyways. Get the hammer away and read this note. 
Day 71. My earlier assumptions on the benign nature of my cellmates may have been made an error. After a careful autopsy, what on earth? I am concerned that there may be a small volume of natural chemicals stored in the stomach which, if ingested regularly over a period of time, may become psychotropic or even lethal. My only real chance is to break out of here and raid any stashes of supplies I can find. However, the evidence against such a move is, is insurmountable. 1. I have no source of light. 2. I swore to myself it wouldn't leave until I heard human voices outside. 3. The spiders are so tasty. Who exactly did he autopsy? I don't want to know. Okay. Day 100. From the marks I have been marking... From the marks I have been making on the walls and my scribble diary entries, which in the dark may amount to an illegible scrawl, today is the 100th day of my new life. Over the past month, my edible friends have become more and more aggressive, and have swelled in number and size. Whether or not this is a result of my plundering their ecosystem, I am unsure. However, at this rate of growth, they will soon be too large to crawl through the gaps in the walls. For all I know, they could only I could only be seeing the tip of the iceberg. If all fails, and I am never recovered, I hope at least that my study of, and indeed involvement with, these fascinating creatures will one day be regarded as an important point in natural history. The greatest names in modern science got there more through fluke than talent, and it appears that this rule has extended itself to my discovery of this delicious new species. I only pray that the second rule deems my breakthrough too insignificant, for all great discoveries tend to consume their inventor. Wait. I pray that the second rule deems my breakthrough... All great discoveries tend to consume their inventor. Alright, so that's- is that the guy that, um... Let's see- I can't stand here. Can I run? I'm gonna back up and test, like, running. And there goes my flesh again. That's not good. How am I- I'm losing blood, but I should be okay. Hey, I made it through that one actually. Okay. Let's go get the hammer out again. I don't like the look of this. Finally, this must be all that's left of the basement storage. That looks rather worse for wear. What's beyond it? Oh, it's just stuff. Okay. Um can I open it? Can't open it with the lock in lock intact, okay. Can I bust through the lock? How do I? Oh, I didn't even know how to work the hammer. Woo hoo! It worked! Alright. Put the hammer away. What do we got going on here? Open the chest. Batteries! But I'm gonna close this behind me in case a monster comes. Paint cans. This. Are those sandbags, or are those spider eggs? What is this? Fluid lighter gas. Can I combine these two? Should I combine these two? This should fire up now. Cool. Alright. It's filled and ready to burn. Zippo lighter. That's not copyrighted or anything. Oh hey! Now I can turn off the steam. Turn the knob. Oh, I should use R. Never mind. Can I pick this up? No, it's probably not useful. Okay. I'm gonna leave that open just in case I need to get in there again. Get out the hammer. I still hear like footsteps. Alright, so I have a lighter. instructions on how to make a bomb but I still don't know why I need a bomb dry dusty old bags okay I thought those were spider eggs okay thank you a note uh, put the hammer away so we can do that day one I begin this record still in the hope that the general work 
or that the great work we have undertaken here might one day be of scientific value, despite the chaos which has ensued in the six hours previous. My aim is to remain secure until what help there may be arrives, and to that end I have barricaded myself into a small workshop area in the abandoned part of the mine. I hope that the meager food rations here will keep me alive, and that those I hide from will not jeopardize that. Perhaps this mine already- Perhaps this mine really is cursed. It's almost precisely 30 years since the incident that brought us here, and now, 30 years on, fate has struck again. Hasn't it been 30 years between Howard and, like, Philip? What they're, like, between his dad's disappearance and Philip's, like, expedition here? Day 3. I forecasted that today the, the rescue crews would arrive, but I can only hypothesize that they would be unaware of my location, and hence busy themselves evacuating the other survivors. If they have not arrived by tomorrow, I will go out in search of them. Day 6. My first mistake was to make assumptions on the matter of rescue. My second mistake was to make assumptions on the safety of this mine. My third mistake was to act on both those assumptions and going outside of my safe haven. My best estimate is that I left the workshop where I was secured about two days ago in search of aid, and I found only danger. I approached the old living quarters but curiously could find no sign of life whatsoever. I returned in what I thought was the direction from which I had come, but soon found myself in an unfamiliar locale. Confused but focused, I attempted to make my way home, but found myself threatened by some species of feral creature, which seems to have made this old mine its home. Well, that all sounds very familiar. Although this specimen bore significant interest to me, I chose to retreat, only to find myself outmaneuvered and outnumbered by the beast. I turned and ran, injuring my ankle in the process, which I believe now is most likely a sprain rather than a fracture. For some time I cowered and fled in the dark, but a few hours ago I discovered a door leading to a smaller, disused part of the mine, the key for which I still have in my pocket. Within that area I discovered this storeroom, and I think it should keep me safe for some time. This place is a maze. My lesson learned. I will not venture out again until I am certain the area is safe. Day 19. Rescue seems increasingly unrealistic. Supplies diminishing. Lots of spiders in this place. I do not like spiders. Day 34. I caught one of the accursed eight-legged beasts nestling in my open mouth, ew, when I woke up this morning. In my surprise, I swallowed it, ew. It's not so much the act of swallowing which concerns me, but the genius of a- genius? Of arachnid. It would be unlikely to, that a cave-dwelling spider would be venomous to any significant degree, but the possibility troubles me all the same. How many pages is this? Granted, it's only like one paragraph. Um. Day 35. Any known venom would have affected me by now, and so today is the first minor cause for celebration I have had since the incident. By lucky coincidence, by gross coincidence, it, this revelation also means I have discovered a virtually inexhaustible supply of nutrition. I intend to venture into the basement beneath the storeroom in the name of science to discover more about these creatures' natural habitat. Day 50. For four days now, I have been surviving solely off the quiet off the quite considerable sustenance provided by the spiders. For some time, I was struggling to gather enough of the crunchy little morsels. However, Lady Luck smiled on me once more when the batteries in my torch died and I made a second life save saving finding. The creature's natural habitat is, is the dark. With my light now diminished, I need only lie still for a few minutes and I have attracted enough of the beasts for a rather hearty meal. That's kind of disgusting, but it's good news for me because it means the spiders don't like light. A flare. I think we've gathered everything, so let's- That scared the crap out of me. I forgot that that was a dead dog. Alright, I think I've discovered everything I can discover about this basement. So I'm gonna go back up to the storage unit. What? What? Oh! No! That didn't sound good. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this episode here. Uh, if you enjoy, if you enjoyed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Feel free to like; helps me out a lot. Um, when we come back, we're gonna find out what happened to that guy, and we're gonna find a way out of this freaking maze. So, until next time, guys, stay out of control. <laughs>